Hey YouTube, uh, I'm just making a quick video again, and this is how to take care of your uh, bait aerators. So you can buy a lot of these uh, at Walmart or Academy. This one's the Tsunami uh, box that I got from Walmart. It has a seal around there, but still water still gets in. Um, you can see these screws are not stainless. You know, this one's got a brass insert, so it's not as bad, but basically what happens if you're like me, you go out and you, uh, you know, you fish for your, through the fishing season and change batteries and it gets thrown around in the truck and the boat or wherever, and then you just put it in the garage and forget about it. And then what happens is your batteries do this. They just corrode, uh, blow up, uh, and cause a massive amount of corrosion. So what I do when this happens is uh, I take this uh, crud cutter I buy it at Walmart and I take a little uh, art brush and I dip it in the crud cutter and I brush it on these uh, t you know terminals in here and it kind of kills the rust. I brush it on the motor if it gets in the motor it's fine I won't really hurt it. Uh, and that kind of kills the rust so that's the first thing I do and then a lot of times the motors frozen up so this is a known good battery so I, I'll go ahead and put it in here and you can see that it doesn't turn on now this one was the exact same way and so what I did was I took pulled the electric motor out like so let it hang and in the back of the motor, you can see uh, right here, there's some little vent holes. And so what happens is the brushes or armature or whatever's in here gets dirty and corroded. And so I take some electric clean and spray right in there with the switch on. Okay. And what that did was it took a motor like this, it wouldn't turn on, to this one where it has full function of two speeds and, and works the way that it's supposed to. Uh, so the second thing that I did after I got the motor freed up and working was I take this Corrosion X, you can buy it at HEB, Walmart, uh, some Walmarts, not all of them. But it says kills rust and corrosion, safe on electronics, and it's a good lubricant penetrant and a good anesthesia. So I don't know that it kills rust, but it certainly keeps it from uh, taking place. Now when I sprayed this motor out with the electric clean, you can see on the paper towel how much crud ran out of it. It was like just a black river of junk. And then I went ahead and sprayed it down with uh, the Corrosion X and then wiped it with the paper towel and you can see the corrosion X kind of all over it uh, it doesn't really hurt it uh, what I'll do too is I'll take a brush and kind of brush in here with this with this uh, corrosion X you know kind of spray a little bit in a bottle cap or something and dab it and just brush all the little metal components with this that you can and that'll help it last for a good while and so you know, sometimes you can get these back running, sometimes you can't. I mean, this one's probably the cheapest one that I've ever bought. I think they're about four or five bucks, six bucks maybe. And it runs on a single uh, AA battery. There you can see the Crozen X already sprayed in there real good and kind of soaked it. Oh, two batteries, I'm sorry. Uh, this one was the same thing, it didn't want to work. And now it functions just fine. So, you know, sometimes these little terminals will corrode up so bad on you that there's just no saving it. Or right here, this will corrode and break off. And sometimes you can re-solder that connection and get it back working. Uh, sometimes you can't. Alright, so this one right here, you can see I've got it back cleaned up and got both speeds working. So that, you know, 
that might last another season. If not, I'll throw it away and buy some more aerators and put on there. But that's a little tip to service them and instead of going out and buying another one, you know, and and spending a bunch of money. Uh, but uh, you know, just look look for corrosion, look for your two wires, and uh, a lot of times you can get these things back up and going. So. You know, like this one right here didn't want to run. Let's see if we can't just get it going real quick. Seems like some of these wires may have a weak connection because when I turn the battery, you know, that's when it, it takes off running. So I probably need to clean those battery terminals better. But once I get it running like this, I'll go ahead and let this run down through it. kind of lubricate it up and keep it from rusting anymore. There it is, there's a dead one that's working again. So that's how I kind of, you know, in a perfect world, you would do this, uh, you would try to do this, you know, every so often, you know, maybe every two or three trips, go in there and lubricate it, or every battery change, you know, go ahead and clean it and brush it out. This stuff will come out with warm water and soap, uh, you know, it's also good. I use it on my fishing reels and stuff, so I recommend this a lot. And, you know, change your batteries regularly so that you don't have this happen to you and, and really cause a corrosion problem. But, you know, nobody's perfect. We all get tired when we go fishing and come in and don't want to mess with stuff and ends up getting neglected. And this is one way that you can uh, take care of your little bait pumps and keep them going. So. Hopefully that helps and uh, good luck.